Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all all right. I just wanted to come on and do a video about an app that I found out about today. Um, I think it's actually been out for about 12 months and it's called Clapper. Um, I'm only hearing about it today and I heard about it on TikTok. Um, so yeah, we had a nosy and to be honest, I think it's going to suit me better. It's only for adults and so you've not got all the children on there, you don't have to watch what you're saying and it's more about freedom of speech, it's not about dancing and lip syncing which I am dog shit at to be honest. Since finding TikTok, I've been on it for about six months and to be fair, I've got about 26,000 followers, which I'm so grateful for, I really am. I did a video on my YouTube, I think it's called How TikTok Has Helped My Autism. Oh, and since joining, it really has boosted my confidence. Before then, I would never do a video. I wouldn't do FaceTime. I hated photographs. And to be fair, that is a part of my mental health. Um, and mainly TikTok for me is to express myself and I've found it brilliant for that. But I do think this new app, with it only being for adults, it's gonna be amazing and I think it's gonna really take off to be fair. So I've had a gander at this app called Clapper today and it basically looks exactly the same as TikTok. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have as many features yet, but I bet it will do soon. Um, and by the looks of it, you can add your own groups, so for whatever that you're interested in. But it's more really for people who want to talk about issues or the hobbies and things like that, which I think is amazing because mine is more to do with mental health and I want to support people with different mental health issues. Also, you can do three minute videos, which is so much better because when you're trying to talk about a topic, one minute isn't long enough for me, not with the issues that I want to speak about. There's also not as much pressure on watching what you're saying because to be completely honest, I have got a bit of a potty mouth and the amount of times I've let the F word slip and the abuse I've got on TikTok for it. So to be fair, you can relax a little bit more. I think it's more for people that do want to have a little bit of a debate and it has actually said it is freedom of speech. They just want people to be themselves and it's more natural videos. They don't want people like dancing and doing things like trending posts if dancing's your hobby then great then dance away but you just don't feel like there's loads of pressure that you've got to follow what everybody else is doing which i feel like that's what happens on tiktok and I can't do them things, do you know what I mean? I just want to come on, I want to follow people that interest me, I want to be able to talk about what I'm interested in, make friends and literally be able to express my myself, that's what I want to use it for. So I, I will stay on both, but I am going to concentrate more on this clapper and see if I can get a good following on that um, and see how it goes. There does seem to be more options from what I've seen to make money on there. Um, they have different versions of tipping from what I've seen. Um, you can get tips from private messages. Um, and they don't have that on TikTok, I don't think. So yeah, I think it is a little bit easier to make a bit a bit, a bit more blah, 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 a bit more money. And also, I think it's a bit easier to get monetized. So 
personally guys i'd get on there while it's newish because i i really do think it's gonna become a big thing because tiktok has blown up so quick so if you do join come and follow me little miss nightmare i used to be little miss autistic but i've changed my name to little miss nightmare because since all my new diagnoses, I didn't want to just concentrate on being autistic and spreading awareness about that, as I generally do have quite a lot of mental health problems and I would like to talk about them all. So the little miss is because I love being girly and the nightmare is because it's a fucking nightmare living with all these problems. <laughs> as people will probably realise who suffer like me. Let me know guys what you think in the comments. Um, have you tried TikTok? Have you tried this new app? So yeah, just let me know. And if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up because it'll really help me out being a new YouTuber. And subscribe if you want to follow me as I will be bringing out more videos on all the different mental health issues that I suffer from and also um, makeup and lifestyle but I've just got that many videos I want to make it's going to take me a while to build them up so I hope to see you all soon bye guys love ya